Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Palo Bingo for you. How long has it been since I've done a Palo Bingo? Wow. With the, the 90s palette by Vive. This is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. So, the palette looks exactly as a sleeve, as you can see. If you haven't seen this watch video, I will link that one here. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Right up alley. Oh my god, this is like 90s grunge in a palette. Love it. So yeah, I've done a swatch video and that's it. You know, like a finger and a brush swatch and that's it. Haven't touched it ever since. And I feel like it's going to be a bit difficult to do a, um, a palette bingo because a lot, like they're not the same shades, but I don't know if there will be enough difference between the shades, if that makes sense. Skin, for example, is grayish, but it's kind of, it's kind of like my skin tone. Yes, it's a bit more gray, but look, like you don't really see it. So if I get that one, that might be a good blending shade. So, in case you don't know what a palette bingo is, you take a palette, or how many palettes you want, and then usually you take five random shades, you know, for B-I-N-G-O. I usually do four because five is a little excessive for me. I don't really use that much shadow to begin with. So, I would do four. I'm not going to say anything because if I say, oh, how, I hope I don't get these colors. I will definitely get these colors. There are 10 shades in here and I will go from 1 to 5 and then from 6 to 10. Whew. Let's go. Pick a number between 1 and 10. It's 3. Yeah. Of course. So it's the, the matte grey is called Supermodel. Let me get a baby wipe. Pick a number between 1 and 10. It's 7. It's a 7 again! So seven is the face, which is this one here. Oh my god. Like, see what I mean? It's like, it's in the same f shade range. So that is, like I said, face. How am I? I'm, re I'm already struggling. Pick a number between one and ten. It's two. Oh, acid wash. Oh, that looks nice. It's very buttery, very soft, but also very crumbly. Oh, oh look at that. It's very, very crumbly. <laughs> All right, all right, okay. The last one. Pick a number between one and 10. The answer is 10. Ooh, the last one, that's suit. I'm, I'm running out of space here. Ooh, okay. It's a, a dark brown with a gray undertone. Like, it's not black, obviously. It looks deeper in the palette than it is, well, than it is as a swatch, but okay. What am I, what am I supposed to do? I mean, obviously, this one, uh, as a wash, will be like the focal point, right? Like the shimmer shape. I think I'm going to start off with, what was this one? Supermodel? Just in the crease. Let me think about this. Okay, so I think I'm going to do something very boring. I will use low, no, not low. I will use face, all of the lid. Blend it out with uh, Supermodel. Also on the lower lash line. I will use suit in the outer corner. And then I will use acid wash. Just as like a... Highlight basically. I don't know. I love these shades. Really, I truly do. But it's kind of like it's kind of it's a bit hot, right? Like, how am I supposed to, to work with this? So face all over. Gosh, I'm not gonna tap it off. I'm a little scared that there's too much fallout. Okay, you can't really see a difference. Which is good, I guess, right? That will be a very quick and easy one and done look. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it, but I also don't really like it. Then I will use Supermodel to blend out with a very, very big fluffy brush. But it's not doing anything. Let's get a, a smaller fluffy brush. I, I feel like these shades are just a little too similar. They don't really show up on the lid. Like you, you cannot tell that I have two different shades on right now. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm somehow not really feeling this. Okay, we're gonna continue. I'm gonna use suit. That is pigment. Now we're talking. This on the outer V. 
to give it a bit of depth. So I'm going to use that on the eyes too. I mean, usually I would say trust the process, but there's, there's not, not much to trust here. Okay, then I'm going back in with the face. And, you know, the inner portion of my lower lash line. I'm not really feeling this, which is a shame, because the palette itself is gorgeous, but I'm just terrible at making this look good. model again. I will actually pinch the, the brush a little, so it's like this. I don't know if I'm feeling this. You, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not that nice. So here's face again. Tapping it on to get somewhat of a color payoff. And then obviously supermodel is not that different from face so you won't see any difference there so we're going to use acid wash i'm not going to spray it yet just to see what it looks like oh okay mm, this is also not that that amazing let me spray it with some just normal water. Oh, now we're talking. Okay. But now, once again, the shadow and is gone. I have to reapply that one. I think the problem is that the like my my dark circles are the same shade as face. Let me clean this up, put some mascara on, and some concealer, and then I'll be back. All right, so this is it. This is what it looks like. I think the problem is that these shades here, yes, they look different in the palette, but when when I put them on the on the face, on the eyes, I feel like they would all look the same. Same even with what whatever. Maybe a palette being with this palette was not a good idea. Maybe. I know, I should have just done a, a normal look. But then again, I had some light colors, I have some, had some shimmer colors, I had some dark colors, so... I don't know why I was struggling so much with this. I mean, it's definitely not bad. Is it the most beautiful look you've ever seen? No. Definitely not. I'm going to add a bit more face. Now, I'm probably going to risk messing this up. Just here. In the crease. The problem is, it's not really showing up on my skin. I think this is the best that I can come up with, with I mean, with, with the colors that I had, with the colors that I chose. I feel like I'm gonna really love this palette, but not in a palette bingo, because that was just, I mean, you can see. So let me zoom in one time and let me know what you think. So that is everything I could come up with. I'm a little mad that face and supermodel are looking like the same shade on my eyes. I mean, I, blend, I even blend out with Supermodel and you cannot, like, it's just not, it's just not there. Maybe, like, the thing is, I really love cool toned shadows, but like, like the silver on top here, the acid wash one. I love shades like this, but maybe my skin tone is not made for it. Or maybe these shades are just too similar, it, like, there could be a lot of reasons. Yeah, that is what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, have you, do you have this palette, and if so, let me know what kind of looks you've done. Maybe the looks are easier to do if you only have like two colors or three, you know, like a light shade of the eyes, a dark shade in the crease, and then a shimmer on top. Maybe that would have been easier. See, I told you, I I always do four shades for a palette bingo and not five because imagine I had one more. No. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you next one.